Hey, what's going on there guys? Nick here from Absolute MTG, and I'm back with another sealed products opening video. Today I have for you guys another one of the dual decks that we're going to be taking a look at, and this one is Prexia versus the Coalition. So this is one of the older dual decks, and it's actually from 2010, so it's been roughly four years since this came out. Uh, but it's definitely still a really sweet dual deck, and you can actually probably find it in most of your local card shops, at least if they carry some older product. If not, you can still find it online, and I'll try to have a link in the description where you guys can find one of these dual decks online and purchase one. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at this. So we'll open this one up. All of these open up like either at the top or the bottom. I don't think it really matters if I can even get it open. There we go. So yeah, you do get two pretty much ready to play decks in here. Which is pretty sweet. You get a bunch of rares. You get uh, two foil mythics, which is pretty sweet. And uh, the black one is Phyrexia Negator, and the other one is Urza's Rage. And the other deck, the red mythic. Uh, so let's take a look at it. Uh, we have the box here with nothing else in it. We have our decks and we have Prexia Negator as the uh, the centerpiece of the Prexia deck. So that looks pretty sweet. And then we have Urza's Rage as the uh, centerpiece of the Coalition deck. Uh, then we have a insert for the Prexia versus Coalition deck in general and then there's a insert for how to play Magic which is uh, one of the older ones that they had back in 2010. Um, they pretty much update them every every single time. Like the the base concepts and everything are pretty much the same thing, but they like to uh, update things from year to year. Um, and then we have some deck boxes. So we have uh, one for the Coalition and one for Brexia. So you can keep your cards inside here. Unfortunately, you can't keep uh, sleep cards in here, which is like the only real downside to it. But uh, I guess it's not really a huge deal. Most players will. Uh, if they're serious about playing a deck or anything like that, they'll try to get some sleeves and like a cheap depth box for it or something like that. Um, but if not, I mean, it's a great way to store the cards and uh, be able to just use them here and there and whatnot. So, let's see. Let's take a look at the uh, the, uh, the Coalition, or not the Coalition, the, the Prexia deck first. Um, so we have a token. We have the Hornet token and a Minion token at the back here. Um, and then we have the lands up front here, actually. So we have our Swamps. So those were all at the top. I could have sworn that this one was black green, but I guess I'm well, I guess I'm wrong. Uh, so we have all of our swamps at the back there. Uh, we have Living Death, Tendrils of Corruption, another Tendrils of Corruption. So two of those. Prexian Processor, which is just really awesome, such a sick card. And I'm gonna be pulling the uh, the rares up front. Uh, Hornet Cannon. We have Prexian Arena, which is another. Really awesome one. Hideous End. We have Slay. We have a Worn Power Stone. Whisper Silk Cloak. A Puppet Strings. Actually, two of those. Uh, Prexian Vault. Prexian Totem. Lightning Greaves. Dark Ritual with that really awesome art. We get two of those, actually. Uh, Voltaic Key to untap artifacts. We have a Prexian Colossus. There's another rare. Uh, Prexian Gargantua. We have a Prexian Hulk. A Prexian Plague Lord. A Prexian Defiler. And a Order of Yawgmoth. Prexian Debaser, Sanguine Guard, Prexian Broodlings, uh, Priest of Gix, another Priest of Gix, Prexian Ghoul, Bone Shredder, uh, Prexian Denouncer, Prexian Battleflies, which is very interesting, uh, Carrion Feeder, and then we have all of our swamps and lands and things. Um, so we get one, two, three, four, five rares, it looks like. Unless I missed one, which I don't think I did. And then the, uh, the Prexian Negator, which is pretty sweet. 
Um, and then we have the the Hornet, which goes with Hornet Cannon, and the uh, the Minion that goes with something else that I didn't catch on to immediately. Uh, and we do have some tokens in this one as well. Alright, so in the Coalition, we have a Saperling and no other tokens, I guess. Right, so we'll put the sac Saperling up there. Yeah, there, so this is a red, green, and a whole lot of everything deck. All right, we have Terramorphic Expanse, so it fixes for us. Okay, and we have some dual lands in here. Uh, Shivan Oasis. Um, actually, let's let's just go and take all the lands and put them to the back. All right, so there we go. That's much better. We'll get to the lands last. All right, so we have Allied Strategies. We have Power Armor. A Trava's Charm. Or Trevor's Charm, actually, Trevor's. Uh, Rith's Charm. Dargaz's Charm. Armadillo Cloak. Sweet. Uh, we actually get two of those. Uh, I guess the, the olden days uh, unflinching courage for those of you guys that are into more of the uh, the recent sets. Uh, Harrow. There's a two of. We have a, a uh, Exotic Curse. Narrow Escape. Coalition Relic, which is really sweet. Uh, Gerard's Command. Fertile Grounds. Another Fertile Grounds. Tribal Flames, which is really sick. Uh, evasive Action. Uh, Treva the Renewer. We have Rift the Wakener. And Dargaz the Igniter. Uh, Gerard Capetian. We have Charging Troll that can regenerate. Yavamaya Elder. I actually get two of those, which is really awesome. Durian or Verduran Emissary. Thornscape Battle Mage as a two of. Thunderscape Battle Mage. We have a Sunscape Battle Mage. Kurian Elves. Nomadic Elf. Two of those. Thornscape Apprentice. And for our lands, we have Elfheim uh, Palace and Shivan Oasis and some Terramorphic Expanse on top of our basic lands that we're playing in here. So uh, it, it initially seemed like it was just like red, white, or um, red, green, and then it actually ended up being a, uh, a splash for some more colors in here. Well, we're essentially playing pretty much all the colors uh, in this deck, or at least we are going to attempt to to be able to splash for different cards, uh, which is still just sweet. So uh, we do have five rares in here as well. Um, so total, you get 10 rares and two mythics out of here. Uh, both are ready to play decks and you can just uh, shuffle them up and have you and a friend play. And it's a pretty easy way to just kind of enjoy the, the casual aspect of Magic. This is pretty much just better for newer players or players that don't really take the game as seriously in terms of competitive or anything like that. Um, but the deck's pretty sweet. If you can find one of these online, it's definitely a uh, pretty interesting gift for somebody that enjoys Magic the Gathering or anybody that just kind of enjoys fun, casual-based format decks. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a link in the description where you guys can find one of these. Uh, and if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you thumbs up the video and check out our social media links in the description below. Thank you, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more Magic the Gathering content, you can hit the subscribe button on the screen and you'll be notified whenever a new video is available. And for those of you guys that enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh!, you can check out my Yu-Gi-Oh! channel by clicking on the video in the top right hand corner. Also, be sure to check out our sponsors for the channel, ABU Games and Europe's MTG Madness, for all of your Magic the Gathering needs, no matter where you are.